The Shocking Real Story of the House of Gucci You've definitely seen that photo of Adam Driver in his cable-knit sweater and Lady Gaga in her ever-glamorous gown on the magnificent House of Gucci film. And even if you haven't watched the film, you've most likely drooled after the similarly lavish outfits donned in the film's two trailers. The combustible family drama at the heart of Ridley Scott's House of Gucci is so outlandish that it's reasonable to believe it's the product of a highly busy imagination. If you're anything like us, you've been furiously googling everything you can about the movie, including the crucial question of whether House of Gucci is based on a true story. Well, the answer is yes, and we'll tell you about all of the shocking events that occurred in the Gucci family's lives. It's not a well-known piece of cinematic history, but author Roberto Bentivegna, who was making his feature writing debut, had vivid memories of the incident even before he was invited to create the script, having been a youngster in Milan at the time. The fact, however, is stranger than fiction in the instance of The House of Gucci. The film was based on writer Sarah Gay Forden's non-fiction book of the same name, published in 2001, which detailed the extraordinarily true story of the enormously affluent Gucci family's rise and collapse as one of fashion's most recognized dynasties. This true story film of a famous marriage and a stunning act of vengeance. Maurizio Gucci's Adam Driver, assassination by his ex-wife Patrizia Reggiani, Lady Gaga. While the tale is based on true events and individuals, a few components were modified for the film due to Bentevenia's deliberate choices, who took inspiration for the script from films like Sunset Boulevard, Scarface, and The Godfather. Background Maurizio Gucci and Patrizia Reggiani were both actual persons, with Patrizia still alive in her 70s. However, their relationships' twists and turns are nothing short of astounding. So, if you want to learn everything about the film's true origin, keep watching to discover the genuinely bizarre story behind it. The Actual True Story So, who was Patrizia Reggiani exactly? And how did she meet Maurizio Gucci in the first place? Let's answer all these questions. The Story Begins in the 1970s, Patrizia Reggiani, who was frequently likened to Elizabeth Taylor, saw him at a party. Many think Maurizio Gucci, one of the most eligible bachelors at the time, fell in love at first sight. Maurizio was infatuated about her from the start, Forden says. After a two-year romance, love blossomed and the two decided to exchange rings. The Gucci family, on the other hand, was not pleased with a the coupling. They also tried to persuade Maurizio Gucci to quit his relationship with Patrizia Reggiani. Nothing, however, could stop the couple from marrying. Alessandra and Allegra, their two daughters, were born after they exchanged vows in 1972. Love was in the air, and their relationship was the dictionary definition of true love. The first several years went exceptionally well. Following Rodolfo Gucci's death, things began to deteriorate. Patrizia became Gucci's main advisor as Maurizio took over the family firm. Rodolfo Gucci's only child, Maurizio Gucci inherited his father's main share in Gucci. Naturally, this resulted in some family conflict, and Maurizio found himself in a public court struggle with his uncle Aldo Gucci for complete ownership of the firm. Maurizio was successful in the case. But due to some clashes between the couple, Maurizio Gucci left his marriage in 1995 to start a new life with his new partner, Paolo Franchi. Later, Patrizia Reggiani claims her spouse has changed and had a big ego. He wanted to be able to do things his way without being hampered. But after the separation, Maurizio was busy enjoying life with his new girlfriend and he was spending cash like there was going to be no end. But soon, he was forced to sell his stakes in the firm to Investcorp for $120 million in 1993, following a period of highly irresponsible spending. Tragedy Begins For a few years, everything was rather peaceful. That is, until March 27, 1995. This is the day when the tragedy truly begins. An unidentified shooter shot Maurizio three times in the back and once in the head as he entered his office building on Via Palestro 20 in Milan. The building's doorman, Giuseppe Onorato, was also wounded, but he survived. Maurizio, on the other hand, fell and died on the stairs of his office. Black Widow? Officials were investigating the situation, but no one was detained. Until an anonymous phone call pointed fingers at Patrizia Reggiani, all leads led to a dead end. Patrizia was a quick suspect, depicted as a bitter ex-wife who had expressed her desire for Maurizio's death. However, because there was no proof, the case remained unsolved for two years. After Patrizia's arrest in 1997 as a result of a tip, she was subjected to a media...